In Katatura, we met a group of Swedish students. They had come to visit an after-school program and experience the classroom atmosphere of a Namibian school. Their amazement was immediately evident. So the question of whether the children themselves understood why they were being visited seemed absent in their dominion. In that moment, both the children themselves and the students became somewhat exotic to each other. Both the volunteers and the children seem to benefit from the cross-culture environment. We decided to find out more about the motivations of the volunteers themselves and met Karin and Anara. It was started by the Nawa Woman, Namibian Women's Association of Namibia, um, who had a vision to start this centre as an early learning centre and an afternoon um, uh, after school care um, for children, vulnerable children, keep them off the streets and give them something to do. Well, I think a lot, of, a lot of us when we came here were not allowed to work because the husband is the one who, who, who has the, the work visa. So besides going shopping and shopping and shopping, you know, which is, you know, some people like it, but I mean, for me, that would be a total, I, I couldn't do that. I have to, I have to do something to keep, keep myself busy. I like working with children. I'm, I'm not a teacher, I'm actually a midwife, but I, I love teaching and I helped out at the international school in the classroom a lot. I like being with kids. For me, volunteering here is an opportunity to work closely with local kids because I personally don't have kids, but I feel energy from them and for me it's very kind of taking energy, but same way I get lots of opportunities to, you know, kind of energize myself, be a child sometimes, not only a teacher, a volunteer. My name is Anna Rajakubova. Originally I'm from Kazakhstan, like in Namibia I'm living and I'm trying to find my place in this society, in this world. Here at Resource Center, I'm volunteering for one day in a week for two hours. Another way, I am teacher of biology, but for all my life I worked mostly as, as an NGO manager. <laughs> and one of the last projects very successful in Kazakhstan, they were about teaching kids to speak English. And by this way, I actually taught myself to speak English. When I saw on the map Namibia, it was first time in my life to understand Namibia actually exists country. They actually teaching me local languages. Like I know local languages, like in uh, over uh, over Herero. Yeah, they say Kora and they respond Nawa. In Ovambo, uh, they say Ongapi and answer Nawa and other words but it's it's coming slowly but it's much better way than if ever, ever anyone taught me at school at class yeah. As a group. it's like in a real working society and if you work well then everyone has success if you don't work well then your group is losing okay so first group Volunteers who are trained, they have expertise, they have degrees, they have certificates, they have diplomas in specific areas and they want to share uh, what they have uh, with the rest of the world. I have no problem with that. But if you are sending someone uh, to a classroom in Namibia and this person is not a trained teacher, you are, he is going to or she is going to cause more harm than good. Roderick Zimba, and uh, I work at the University of Namibia in the Department of Educational Psychology and Inclusive Education. It's easier to, to learn something wrong than to unlearn it. 
you need to know how uh, children learn and you need to know how to relate to children. Uh, for children to develop normally, they need continuity and they need routine, they need stability.